Dear Billy Frist, dear Susan H. Edwards, members of the board, committees and councils of the Frist Art Museum, cher François Darrow, dear Mark Scala, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to be here this morning, even at a distance, for the opening ceremony of Picasso Figures, an exhibit organized in partnership with the Musée National Picasso Paris, which contributed several masterpieces that you, you will have a chance to discover shortly. I want to thank you for being here, despite the circumstances, to support this wonderful institution, the Frist Art Museum, as it celebrates its 20th anniversary. It was a pleasure for me to discover the Frist Art Museum during my visit to Nashville last February, just before the pandemic. I have a vivid memory of the impressive building, the former Nashville Central Post Office, an Art Deco masterpiece that serves as the museum's home, and of the two beautiful exhibitions I saw at that time, one dedicated to the illustrator Eric Carl and the other to Turner. With the birth of Impressionism, organized in 2010 with the Musée d'Orsay, and Paris 1900, City of Entertainment, organized in 2018 with the Petit Palais Museum of Fine Arts in Paris, the Frist celebrated two critical periods in French and global art in the second half of the 19th century and at the turn of the 20th century, Impressionism and Art Nouveau, continuing an active and fruitful collaboration with French museums it is now partnering with the Musée National Picasso Paris, which holds the world's largest collection of Picasso's work to highlight the genius of an artist who was born in Spain, who adopted France as his home and revolutionized 20th century art. The much anticipated Picasso figures on view exclusively in Nashville illustrates the artist's fascination with the human figure as both a subject and mode of pictorial exploration. Full of the familiar faces of the women, children, models, and friends in his circle, the nearly 75 paintings, drawings, and sculptures on display also offer a panorama of Picasso's astonishing creativity from Cubism and his discovery of African and Iberian art to post-war neoclassicism, surrealism, expressionism, and the free use of color in his fin final years, Picasso constantly explored new ways to represent reality. The passion and commitment of the teams at the Frist Art Museum and the Musée National Picasso Paris is clear in this exhibition, which was able to take place despite the difficulties in organizing it in the midst of a public health crisis. They deserve our deepest thanks. I would particularly like to thank Susan Edwards, Executive Director of the Frist Museum, and Laurent Lebon, Director of the National Picasso Museum in Paris, as well as Billy Frist and all the members of the board whose loyalty and generosity have made the Frist Art Museum an important cultural institution in the American museum landscape. At a time when many museums remain closed to visitors in both our countries, when cultural life is paralyzed by the pandemic, I cannot emphasize enough the powerful symbolism of the opening of this exhibition. Let us hope that it is a sign of better times to come, when culture will once again be able to flourish. With the Consul General and the cultural services at the French Embassy in the US, I am entirely at your disposal to support your initiatives to strengthen ties with France and its cultural institutions. As we await the day when we can all meet again in person, I would like to offer Picasso figures my best wishes of success and wish the Frist Art Museum many bright years to come. Thank you.